Charles Kelly and welcome once more to The Lancer Life. Of course I'm on the road again. Uh, I really enjoy doing these reviews while I'm driving. It's a place where I find peace and tranquility as I smoke some of the best cigars in the world, best premium cigars in the world. Today we are smoking the Lancero version of the Rocky Patel Sun Grown Special Reserve Maduro. Take a look at that. Uh, it's a 38 by 7 and a quarter. It's a big giant pencil. This cigar was rated number two, not this particular Vitola, but the cigar was rated number two in 2016 by Cigar Aficionado magazine with a score of, I think, a 93. I'll, 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 I'll do some research while I uh, check on that later. Now, you've heard me say repeatedly I'm not a big, big fan of Connecticut Broadleaf wrapper. That is, except if it's a Maduro. Uh, I really like a uh, Maduro wrapper. Uh, I'll enjoy the flavor uh, from the... And uh, sometimes you get that nuttiness, sometimes you get that cocoa, sometimes you get that spice. Um, but if I have to smoke a Connecticut Broadleaf, I want to do it in a Maduro uh, version. So once again, on the road, uh, getting my uh, baby Slim looked at. I told y'all one day I'll tell you the reason for the name. Uh, today is not that day. But I'm going to get uh, get it looked at. I uh, have some problems with the heater. And there's a strange noise going on in the rear axle. So I'm not sure what it is. And if you can pick it up, it's a whatever it is. Anyway, back to this cigar. I smoked one of these for the very first time a week before the reviews came out from Cigar Aficionado giving it a number two mark. Uh, some of you may know, this cigar came in number two to the La Flor Dominicana Andalusian Bull, which is a really good cigar. This cigar, as I said earlier, is wrapped in a Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro wrapper, sun-grown wrapper. Uh, inside, it is Nicaraguan filler and Nicaraguan binder, double binder, uh, according to uh, some of the things I've read, although I wonder how you can do that with a cigar so thin, but hey, uh, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler, you know what you're going to get now. I didn't check any notes on what the flavor profile this is. So we're all going to learn that together. So, here we go. So the first thing I'm picking up is wood, woodsy, earthy, uh, and a little bit of cocoa or coffee. Uh, when it comes to cocoa and coffee, you really need to allow the tobacco to heat up and clarify itself, so to speak, to let you know exactly what's going on and, and what it's trying to do. Very uh, good flavor on the tongue. Uh, the wrapper gives you that lip smacking. Mm, yum, 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 yum going on um, and we're waiting oh another thing I've learned sometimes when uh, uh, you say spice you got to be clear whether it's a cooking spice like cumin or nutmeg or cinnamon or something like that or what they mean is spicy heat spicy we term heat you know food that's spicy as food that's hot as well so this is not giving me uh, pepper. Not yet, but something that uh, 
you tend to think of uh, in terms of dark and earthy. Uh, I'm going to say cocoa uh, because uh, the combination of that that bitter cocoa. Uh, yet some of that sweetness that we're getting from the wrapper and I'm believing that the wrapper is where that's coming from. Full body, but mellowing out. Not a lot of burn on the retro hill. Um, I'm gonna spend a couple seconds talking about Rocky Patel. Rocky Patel has one of the most extensive lines of cigars uh, among any of the producers. Uh, when you go to some stores that sell Rocky Patel, they can cover a wall with all the different, uh, what we used to say in the manufacturing world, skews, uh, or Vitolas, shapes, sizes, and blends of cigar. They have something for every cigar smoke, without a doubt. Uh, so if you uh, go and see uh, Rocky Patel and a cigar, and you're new to cigar smoking, you know, tell the tobacconists, you know, what you like, and if they carry an extensive line of Rocky Patel, trust me, they can find something that will float your boat. When you look at the video that I shot here, you can see it's a kind of a toothy, rustic looking cigar. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of shine or gleam from oils coming through on the wrapper. And again, mentally, that gives me the expectation that I'm gonna find something earthy inside the cigar. And uh, that's exactly what I'm finding while I smoke this. I'm gonna cut back to me live here. The ash is holding on really well. Well constructed cigar, but that's to be expected from anything you get from Rocky Patel. A well constructed cigar. This won't beat you up too much. About eight and a quarter, nine dollars. I wouldn't pay any more than ten dollars for a cigar find this baby for more than ten dollars you're probably getting uh you're getting hacked by your cigar shop so just a note and i also encourage you to go to your local tobacconist your local cigar shop please 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 i say support the brick and mortar except for those of you living on the uh american canadian border in north dakota where you don't have a choice of 20 cigar shops to go to. Then I give you a pass to go online and, and get your cigar. But that's the only case. Or if your guy is charging you $20 for an $8 stick. That's another uh, indicator that it's time to uh, cut that joker loose. But this is a reasonably repriced cigar. Uh, this was gifted to me by one of the owners at b, &B Cigars, so I'm giving a shout out to b, b Cigars in Chestnut Hill, uh, Chestnut Hill section of Philadelphia. Now, I am getting some of that cooking spice. A little hint of cinnamon. The heat has subsided. The ash is, is hanging on there pretty good, and I'm driving in the car, the windows are down. You know, I've got wind and bounce working against me, so this ash is, is hanging in there. Let me not cover my face. You give me the, the ash mustache. How about that? Uh, so, it's doing pretty good. I'm real sorry about that whirring sound on the, on the on the stang, but that's what I'm going to get checked out. That just started happening about three, four days ago. I have no clue what the heck that is, but I'm going to get that worked out. All 
Alright, I sense this thing is about to go. I'm about to cut the ash loose, so I'm not wearing it, but uh, if I were in a cigar shop, I'd like to see how long that thing goes. But it's starting to get that little tilt on it, which means uh, gravity is about to take over, and we're going to lose it. So off in cigar ashtray it goes. Full body cigar. I'm starting to get a little bit of pepper now. The cocoa has settled in. It's there. Uh, the spice kind of comes and goes. But definitely earth. Uh, getting some good earthiness. Good, rich soil earth on the palate. Not leather so much. I mean, uh, cocoa, earth, little white pepper, little peppery, spicy on the retro hail, and some cinnamon and some cumin that kind of comes and goes. One of the things I like when I get cumin, cumin takes me to Cuban cigars. So if you want something that really kind of harkens to a Cuban esque cigar flavor, I think this is something that you ought to try. wrapper, well constructed, uh, nice um, cap on it, take you back, take a look at the cap one more time here, get a beautifully constructed cigar, nice long Lancero, now I tend to draw uh, early and often on my cigar, so this Lancero probably isn't going to give me a full hour or 70 minutes, which is about what I get out of a Lancero when I'm sitting down enjoying it. Draw is spot on. Burn, spot on. No touch up. Rotating that there so you can see that. Tasty. Fortunately, I had a nice full lunch before I went on the road. I recommend that you uh, eat full body cigars on a full stomach or it will cause you problems. It's full body, but because it's a Lancero, I'm not getting the lightheaded, <laughs> which you can't get from some full body cigars. Profile is staying very consistent. Cinnamon, a little less nutmeggy now, or less cumin-y now, but very, very, very good. Uh, as I said, number two cigar of 2016, although not in this Vitola. I think it was a Toro. Look it up and uh, and see uh, which Vitola uh, that was. Opinion, good cigar. 93, that doesn't make it a classic, it makes it a good solid cigar. Uh, and so I agree. Get out, get one of these, sit down, enjoy it. Full body cigars means full body drinks for pairing. I can go with a smoky, peaty, or salty scotch. I can go with a peaty. Irish whiskey. I can go with a bold whiskey. Uh, good bourbon uh, would go well with this. Also, I would pair this with a lighter red wine. I would go with a bold red red wine on this, and I would even go with something sweeter like a Chianti. Uh, I think also I might trip up and go with a full body white like a good oaky chardonnay speaking of uh, oak meaning wood uh, I'm definitely getting uh, uh, some cedar notes now as well beautiful day in the neighborhood it's going to be rainy and wet uh, I'm getting ready to sign off if you like my reviews, please give me the thumbs up on the YouTube channel. Uh, look at 
some of the other reviews, subscribe to the channel. With the weather being nice, I'm going to be doing a lot more video reviews. But if you want something to sit down and read, go and join me on www.thelancerlife.com. I do a number of different reviews on local uh, cigar shops and as I travel, maybe a cigar shop near you, restaurants, but mainly cigars. So, 